Now that day, many of us realized evil is real, but that heroes are too. Colin Ruane shows us how the Metro paused today to reflect. By the dawn's early light, a somber a remembrance, so all for a day that changed our country forever. At the twilight to remember people that have given their lives for our country, our country, and, and for our freedom, yeah, and to have gratefulness. Barbara Nelson lost a loved one in the war on terror. She came to Heartland of America Park to remember him and so many others. <laughs> Seeing so much support is something she takes comfort in. It's an honor to to have people notice and remember, and that's, that's a very... That's a special thing. From large flag displays like this one at Memorial Park, remembering everyone killed that day to moments of silence and much more. Many in the heartland found different ways to remember. It's been very nice having everybody come down and, and join us so that we can share these artifacts um, that have traveled all the way from New York City to come here. Here at the Bennington Fire Department, they have this beam from the World Trade Center on display for the public. It serves as a stepping stone to help educate those who aren't old enough to remember what happened on that horrifying day. To teach our young kids, though, that is something that we will remember um, from for many, many years. And to remind everyone, it's a day most of us will never forget. We remember the anxiety. And back here live at Memorial Park tonight, go ahead and taking a look to my right, you can see the thousands of flags, nearly 3,000 of them, to remember those who died on 9-11 and those we spoke to today say this is an important reminder that this is a day that will be an important one in American history for years to come. John. All right, thank you, Colin Rain, reporting live tonight.